Alright, so this next reaction is a tale of an interracial relationship. Thomas, come to visit on episode 3. And it's by Cecil Deals. Somehow, Cecil's bro uh, Sydney brother paid her a visit after he found out about her new boyfriend. She supposedly hide, hide it ahead from him. So apparently, last time, you know, two of the chocolate and vanillas are added again. And, um, sometimes it's always a very good relationship. I have to say, but what, but what, uh, what is gonna happen this time in this episode? We'll find out in 5, 4, 3, 2, eep. I think that's is her I think that's her brother. Stop, you didn't tell me about the new boyfriend in your life. How did you know that? Wait a minute, did you talk to Stacy? Did I mention Stacy's name? And the fact of the matter is, you're supposed to be the one to tell me about the new boyfriend in your life. There's no way in hell I should be the last one to find out about this. Okay, I'll tell you, you're part of the hate crew, too. Let me go put on some clothes and we can talk about it, okay? Yeah, okay. I don't want to say anything. Please don't make it public. Can I have something to drink, please, before we start this conversation? What would you like? Anything is fine. in the pictures, huh? Yes, he is. We love each other very much. He makes me very happy. Yeah, let's hope he feels the same way that you do. Thomas, I didn't talk to you about this because I knew this would be your reaction. You need to get over the fact that I'm not a little girl anymore, and I don't need your protection every second. I can take care of myself. Is it because he's black? I mean, seriously, what's the problem? Now, you know I don't have a problem with black people, so don't even go there. It's just that I can't see how somebody who cannot manage their own life correctly can be a positive influence in your life. I'm just looking out for you. Thomas, I'm not going to be bitten by that pink answer. But I will tell you this. Someone has been lying to you about the type of man DeMarcus is. He's a good guy. Look. All I know is that Dad made me promise that no matter what, I would always look after my sisters. And that's what I intend to do. Are you sure about that? <laughs> you know what's up? 
Wait, I'll talk to him. So the other night, Cynthia went to someone like you and her had a little talk. But she never finished telling me about it. So... So you want to know if it was about you? Mm, yeah. Marcus, all I did was tell that girl something I wished somebody had warned me about before I started messing with you. Yeah, I guess that too. When it's all said and done and the romance is gone, you toss your women away like garbage. And you know it's true because it's exactly what you did to me. Okay, see, first of all, you're lying. Because that's not what happened. As soon as we got together, you became this possessive, controlling person that I didn't want to be with no more. I let you get in your face. And I told you it was over. Then you went on a rampage and tore my house. Look, Tiana, it is what it is. So you brought this white lie all up in my face and I'm not supposed to say anything about it? Please. You lucky I didn't tell her about your crazy ass brother and what he's gonna say when he finds out you're Hey, hey look, 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 my brother don't have no say so who I date, all right? Besides, he already knows about her. Does he know she's white? Then none of your damn business, Tiana. I tell Lanny what I tell him. See, that's what I'm talking about. You ain't even man enough to be real about who you're sleeping with, Marcus. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You got mad at me because I broke up, and then you broke up my, and then you break my house and shit. That caused house insurance and shit. And then you got mad at me because I date a white girl. Like seriously, what the fuck? No, that's why you. That's why I dumped you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's the first time I ever got snapped. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I've been drinking too much. I'm, no, it's it's not beer. It's nah, I drink uh, one of the the moon mist or something like that. I don't know. I, I actually drink the cola as so. well. <laughs> but uh, how you gonna blame me for all the times that I dumped you? Oh shit, sorry. Because oh what? Because I you know I haven't given you not much money. You know. To pay child support or something. Maybe you thought I was gonna move on to my new life until then. Like, come on, man. This is where real world we was talking about. And I move on, Tiffany. Uh, that is that your name, Tiffany? Like, come on. Hate what you want, but you ain't gonna stop me. But can. For me to get in that sweet vanilla ice. And that her name is Cynthia. Just because you hate doesn't mean you can't doesn't mean you can't get the job done for all that bad attitude of yours. Like come on now. Love the love is no race to along another. Because it's all about each other than you know Every race that we have to respect to each other. As long as nothing bad would happen, we cool. So keep that shit somewhere else. And also mind your motherfucking business. Yeah, yeah. I'm still talking about you, Tiffany. Mind your motherfucking business, alright? And don't worry, I ain't mad, I just let y'all know. <laughs> Oh, man. Right. Tell Lanny what I tell him. See, that's what I'm talking about. You ain't even man enough to be real about who you're sleeping with, Marcus. You need to grow up. How you gonna call this girl your woman and be too scared to tell your own flesh and blood about her? Back to my check. That's my problem. Not yours. That's why I can't stand messy-ass females. Messy? show you better than I can tell you. Sweet. Be right, be right back. Hello? You must be over there with your girlfriend. Took hella long to answer the phone. Yeah, whatever. 
What? Why you keep calling me about every single penny my son needs? Hell, I've already got enough to live off of. Marcus, you a damn square. Your ass always gonna have a job. And as long as you do, you paying for everything my baby wants. So shut that bullshit up. What are you talking Look, I buy him birthday presents, all right? I send him Christmas presents. You still give me a hard time about him coming out here to see me. But you better realize that. Just because you my baby mom don't give you the right to dip your hands in my pockets. And you must be crazy. Whatever, Marcus. You over there huffing and puffing, trying to sound all hard like your brother? But the problem is, you're not Orlando Johnson. Your name is Demarcus Johnson. So you know what that means? What? You the nigga picking up the check. Uh, hello? The queen. both to know. This is not a work request. It isn't a correction. It's a choice. It's a victory. It's a verbal warning as to what my actions might be should this situation get out of hand. I I'm sorry, sir. Excuse me. Um, what situation? Mr. Johnson. Let's just say that it has been brought to my attention that the two of you are involved in an intimate relationship outside of work. My son, I have been, but you've been trying really hard not to let it affect our job. I don't like it, sir. You both have been very professional in your teaching efforts and keeping the emphasis on the truth as well as staying off the radar. But my overall concern is not so much the possible negative effect that this could have on your work. My concern is the permanent effect that this could have on the rest of this staff as well as this school. the mayor of Oakland, as well as the unified school district, to get my kids the books that they need as well as deserve. I've also worked very closely with young, eager teachers such as yourselves to clean up the bad images that this school once had. I am not willing to allow all that to be torn down simply because two of my teachers want to have a roll in the head. Do you understand me? Good. Now, with all that being said, you've both done an excellent job at, uh, in your teaching efforts, and I've heard nothing but positive feedback. want you to continue to do the great job that you've been doing at Temesco. But I also want you to be very, very responsible regarding this situation that you both gotten yourselves into. Are there any questions? Get back to your lunch break. Mr. Johnson. Sorry. Man, I <laughs> man, this is this is crazy, man. It's like I mean, I know how this happens. Like, I know that is against the law of, you know, the two teacher are not dating each other. And, um, 
I understand how this is going through. And the only problem is, is, um, those two. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Tiffany. And I know the girl on the phone. But the only problem is, yes, I agree with Demarcus. I, I mean, I don't mess with messy girls as well, because... It's so annoying how this happened in real life because when Ethan, every time you date a messy girl, they always get on your nerves. They always have a bad attitude, and um, you know, you know, want money this and money that. I mean, it always happens when you got to be careful of not date some other than messy girls who have the same amount of character. I mean, or it could be a black, white, Asians, or anything. You just gotta be careful. You just have to find a positive, a positive woman that will be nice to you at all. I mean, ask myself if some other positive woman that would be nice to me, then, then I'll be lucky. I mean, I'll be lucky if I ever date. Like I said, once again, if I ever date white, Latinas, Asians, or anything, I'll be cool. Just like I said, man, it doesn't matter whatever you date, you'll be okay. Like, like, I know this going to be, I know it's going to be a lot of hate on me because... Because, hey, you're a race trader. You're supposed to be bro. I mean, like, come on now. I'm, I'm trying to move on on some new life and stuff because of the whole thing. I mean, it's okay to have, you know, all this. Because, you know, love has no color. Even though I, I have to agree on that, because, um, ask myself, because, I mean, it doesn't matter whatever you want to date, because, for me, I'll, I'll just try my best to find, you know, a white girl to date me, of course, you know, date with me, of course, I just, I still wish, man, but, yeah, they did an excellent job of those acting skills, man, I have to say, uh, that's the only thing I want to be is an actor, an actor, because if I ever get be better of the whole acting skill things, that'll be so, that'll be so fun for me to do with that. I mean, it's more important, it's more important for me to do it just because if I have to, so, yeah. But, um, but yeah, man, let me know, comment down below if you want more of Pills and the interracial relationship. God knows it's going to be coming along the way. God knows something bad's going to happen in the next episode. So.